This video is brought to you by CompPaintball.com. Comp Paintball is fed up with not having great products at great prices, so they started their own company. New products are added all the time, and free shipping is offered on select orders. So click the link below and enter the discount code How to Play Paintball, all lowercase, no spaces while checking out to get a great discount on your order. Okay, so this video is, it's not that it, you can't use some of the tips for if you're driving to an event, but a lot of this is gonna be geared more towards how to follow TSA procedures and make sure that you're doing everything the correct way that they would like you to do it. Uh, so again, this isn't, I'm not saying that you can't use these tips for driving somewhere, like let's say you're driving a next to the next state over, but this is gonna be more for if you're gonna be flying somewhere. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, move the camera so this way you can see my gear bag. I have all my gear here. Uh, I'm gonna set it up basically packing like I'm gonna be going to get on a plane to go to a practice or the next event. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I have my gear bag. Uh, there's nothing in here other than like a microfiber. Um, and yeah, so the main thing you wanna remember is make sure that you have your ID. I always keep my ID in the same pocket so that way I don't lose it. Uh, and then I have my lid in the same pocket because you never know when you're gonna need your lid if it does start raining. So you wanna make sure that you have that ready. So one of the main things whenever it is that you actually are flying is making sure that your tank is emptied and the reg is off. So I wanted to show you a trick because uh, basically what the TSA needs to be able to do is hold it and look down inside of the bottle itself to make sure that there's no explosives. I mean, it's a safety thing. So uh, they want to make sure that everything is all good to go. So so all you need is your gun. I uh, don't need a barrel, don't need anything else. And actually, you don't even need the bolts. I'm going to go ahead and take the bolts out. Now with this, there is a way of making it not so loud, and that'll make sense in a second. So you're going to go ahead and take your tank and actually screw it onto your gun and the trick of what you want to do get one of your swabs stick it down into where the uh, the bolt actually goes into and then just turn on your your ASA okay so we're starting to get to the end now so now I can actually talk and you can hear me uh, yeah the ASA is going to get a little bit so I can get that in uh, it's shining a little bit too much uh, a little bit icy uh, you are going to get that condensation build up and it since it's it is going to be cold so don't that's not something to be scared about so you can hear that that's pretty much done so you can take your swab out and we'll just let that bleed out completely and go ahead and unscrew that off of your gun you can actually just go ahead and take your bolt and put it back in there because that's important to have in there if you want to play okay so now you have your tank it doesn't have any more air inside of it See if I can't get that so you can see it's basically on zero. Uh, now the way that you want to test it is maybe your gauge is broken a little bit. Just, and you can actually hear it. There's still a little bit left in there. So now you should be able to press that, that pin or if you have the Ninja ones, uh, you're gonna press that little ball there if that's the one that you have. But my powerhouse uh, has the, the pin. So you're gonna press that you shouldn't be able to hear anything. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, when I had first gotten this bottle at the beginning of the year, and of course I'm gonna switch it out for my powerhouse reg, uh, when I was taking off the original reg, I was able to just unscrew it. So I think companies now have gone away from having that seal that was actually on the threads itself. This was something that you had to kind of break the first time. So you could either, uh, one of my teammates actually, on the fill nipple, got like a wooden table and just kind of kept hitting it like that. Remember, it's lefty-loosey from the top. So he would hit it until eventually it would kind of break that. Uh, you should be able to just unscrew it. Now, it's gonna be a little bit harder to get that, but once you get it, you're just gonna go ahead and unscrew the reg from your bottle. Now, the reason why it's important to make sure that you press that pin before you start unscrewing the reg is you don't want there to be any extra air and it's gonna make it a lot more difficult to unscrew the reg from the tank anyway. But a lot of the regs now, actually I think all of them, have that little groove in there. So that way uh, it's an anti-launch feature. Basically, uh, if it did start to rip through the threads, it's gonna to get to that point and it's gonna expel all the air from that. So that way you don't have to worry about the tank launching off. 
I actually know someone that his bottle launched out and they found it far away from the field. So now we have our reg off of our bottle. So again, the TSA can look inside. You know, there's nothing inside there. They can look and go, okay, everything's good. So the next thing that I like to do is I do like to use the, uh, the tank case. The bottles are really durable, but I don't trust the TSA. <laughs> so the TSA does kind of beat up uh, paintball gear. So I like to use the exalt case just because I can kind of strap it down. And you can also take your reg. What I personally like to do is either wrap it up in, you know, like I have my microfiber, a uh, clean one, make sure it's clean. And, or you could go ahead and I've actually put it in a Ziploc before. So that way you can go ahead and put it inside of your tank case. Now it should be okay. Uh, I mean, like the, the exalt cases have this little spot here. So that way you can kind of tuck it in there and it'll hold your reg inside there. So as long as you wipe it off, it should be okay. Uh, I just, it kind of freaks me out sometimes having, you know, 4,000 pounds of pressure inside here. So I just want to make sure that my reg is completely clean. So there's no issues with anything getting inside there causing any issues uh, or having issues with the actual regulator itself when it's putting the air into my gun. So if you are going to get one of these tank cases, uh, the 90 fits when you don't have the reg on there. That's, that's a 90 SL from Ninja. Uh, and then I have my powerhouse reg on there because powerhouse, uh, but um, if you have a 77 with a reg on there, it will fit in here. So the 77 SLs fit, that's what I used to use and now I moved to a, a 90. Once I put the reg extender on there, it didn't fit anymore inside of here. But when you have the reg off, it's a little snug, but it's gonna, it's gonna be in there. So this way it just protects it from the TSA. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. Uh, I'm not saying that this is the only way to, to pack your gear bag. This is just the way that I like to do it. So with my Virtue bag, actually the, the width of the wheels inside here, I'm going to move that to the side, fits my, my case for my gun almost perfectly. So I like to put it in that section there just so that, that way it doesn't rattle around. It is protected within the case, but I just want to make sure that, I mean, you know, you don't want to fly to an event and then your, your gun is broken because of the TSA. So I just like to have precautions basically set up. And then it's just a matter of playing Tetris. So I, I'll take my, my pack, put it into the side right there, kind of put in the larger items first. So I have my tank, set it there. My hopper, again, I, use, I like to use the loader case, uh, just that that way I'm able to protect the hopper as much as possible. My barrel kit, because you never know, those little differences in the boring of your paint can make a difference. So. You wanna make sure that you're as exact as possible. Uh, of course, you wanna have extra lenses. So in here, I have a couple. So I have my HD ones. So that way if it's super, super dark out, I can see a lot easier. Then I have a darker, let go, uh, darker lens there. So that way if it's super bright out, but I've been using the HD lens. Uh, that's an actual Bunker King specific lens and uh, so that's what I've been using so it, it seems like it's gonna be good for everything but I just like to have extras just in case so that kind of goes tucked in here and now we can start putting in some of the other items so like my swabs that's easy those you can get in there of course I have my my jerseys it de kind of depends on what we're gonna be wearing uh, depends on who we're playing so if the league says okay you need to use your maroon then we can use our maroon or our black all of the team, <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't like one design, but we all started off, I think most of us, this was our favorite, and now the black one has started becoming our favorite. So I don't know what it is about it. There's just something about that that black design. It's just cool. So anyways, one of the tricks that you can do to make sure that you have everything packed in here nice is go ahead and roll your stuff. So if you roll it instead of folding it, you can kind of get it a little bit smaller. And then I like to just kind of fit it into the areas where there's a little bit extra space. So like there, get my other jersey. Go ahead and roll that, stick it into there. And I do like to have a couple undershirts. Uh, so just in case one gets super just nasty, I can swap it out the next day. And yeah, so I got two here, same thing. I'll just roll it up, stick it into those. Doesn't hurt to always have an extra microfiber. So as for my cleats, so especially after after Texas with it being super muddy, uh, having a bag, just like a little drawstring bag to put your cleats in or just something is going to be really beneficial to not get everything completely disgusting. Uh, so I, I got this from doing a mud run 
uh, kind of ironically, this is what I put my muddy stuff in. So this is just what I use, so it just fits perfectly right there. So that way I have that ready. I have another microfiber. Then I have my gloves. So these I can just kind of fit anywhere. Then I have my hustle wrist wraps. So like I had said before, my wrist started really hurting after World Cup. I was getting a lot of wrist strain because of just how much we had played. So I just like to use these underneath. So whenever I work out, I use the larger ones. And then when I'm playing, I use these ones, which are the 12 inch. So that way it's not super tight because once I put my elbow pads on, it's gonna add a little bit. So that way it just helps with having more wrist support. So that way I don't damage anything. So these just go in. Of course I have my headbands and I've had these for a while. So uh, yeah, so these can just kind of go in wherever. And of course, the BK fly pants. So same thing, see if I roll it up like that, it fits perfect right there. I don't have to worry about anything. And the last couple things, so uh, I actually just started using the carbon base layer here. And honestly, I, I, they, again, they're not paying me to say this at all. I really like them. Uh, I, I forget that they're on. It almost seems like there's not gonna be enough padding but it's actually just enough. So I was able to run around and, and play and, and drill. And uh, yeah, you forget that they're on. So really good job to Carbon for that. So they actually give you a little bag. So I would recommend using that, especially when this is gonna be touching your skin a little bit more than other stuff. So I'll put that in there. That's all good to go. And what's good with this too, is since it's the slider and knee pad combination, it gives you a little bit of extra room because now you don't have two extra things. And lastly, my elbow pads, I've been using these for a little bit. You guys had seen in a previous video that I've been using these actually since last World Cup, maybe before that. So thanks to Exalt for that. Um, so you just kind of fit it in wherever it can go ahead and fit. Go ahead and close it on up. And my bag has this little clip. I just like to put that on there. Just gives it a little bit of extra support. Maybe it's more mental, but I like to just use it. Uh, and then the last thing, really important, your mask. So I like to use the uh, the goggle case uh, just because again, with, with our mask, so we use the CMD. So the CMD is real flexible. So I, I just wanna give it the, the best chance of not being, you know, ending up like that. Uh, when I actually take it out of my bag. So any any chance that it's not gonna warp, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. So put that in there. Uh, my visor, this is really important to always have with you because you never know when it's gonna rain an event. It always seems like it does. So I'm just gonna kind of stick it right there. And on my bag, this little section right here actually fits a goggle completely fine. It's up a little bit. Stick it over. It's hard to do this while I'm stretching over the gear bag so you guys can see it, but that is all set to go. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that it's something that helps you guys out. Thank you again to comppaintball.com for sponsoring this video. Be sure to go to their website and use the code how to play paintball. If you use it all lowercase and all together, you'll get 10% off. And, uh, yeah, they've just been a great support. So thank you to Bob and the whole team over at comppaintball.com for supporting the channel. But uh, is there anything else that you guys would like to see? Put it down in the comments down below. What's another tip or something that you're like, Greg, I have no clue how to deal with this thing. Go ahead and put that in the comments down below and I'll be sure to add it to my <laughs> running list. And what's great is actually I'll be able to do hopefully more during the summer. So as of filming this, when this video drops, I'll have two full weeks of school until it's the summer break. So I'll be able to do a little bit more. So hopefully I can get to like two videos a week, maybe three. So if you want help with something, go ahead and put that in the comments down below. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I mean, we're over 8,500 subscribers and that's crazy. And it's cool actually at Central Florida Paintball, someone had recognized me, actually it's two guys. So it's cool meeting you guys. So if you do see me, please say hi. Uh, I'm not gonna bite and it's not gonna, I'm not gonna be a jerk or anything like that. So uh, if you do see me, please say hi. All right, so that's the video. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. But as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.